Welcome to Singapore Junior Phoenix Olympiad 2012 General Round Question 11. For the system consisting of the two blocks shown in the figure below, a horizontal force F is applied so that block B does not fall due to its weight. The masses of A and B are 12 kg and 2 kg respectively. The horizontal surface is frictionless and the coefficient of static friction between the two blocks is 0.45. The minimum magnitude of F is, the options are A, 63 over 10 G, B, 100 over 3 G, C, 280 over 9 G, D, 560 over 9 G, or E, 70 G. To begin solving this question, we start with Newton's second law of motion, where the external force acting on the system F is equal to the total mass of the system multiplied by the acceleration of the system. So for the figure shown in this question, F is then equal to MA plus MB, which is the total mass of the system, multiplied by the acceleration of these two masses together. Now, let's look at block B in detail. So, there are three forces acting on block B. First is its own weight, MBG. Then next is the frictional force due to it being in contact with block A. Mu n, and of course, as a result of being in contact with block A, B will also have normal force in the horizontal direction as shown here. So, block B, as a result of this force, is accelerating in the right direction as shown here. So, in other words, block B has a external force equivalent to M B multiplied by A acting on it. And if you look at this free body diagram of the block B, there's only one force which can contribute to this acceleration, and that is the normal reaction from block A. So, therefore, we can construct this equation where N equals to MBA. Now, the condition of the question demands that the block does not fall. That means that the frictional force due to being in contact with block A must balance the weight of the block B itself. Therefore, we can construct another equation as shown here. Now, by substituting these two equations into this equation, we can get the following expression for F as shown here. Now, all the parameters given in this final equation are given in the question as shown here. So, by substituting all the values into this equation, we get the final form of the force F, where F is equal to 280 over 9 multiplied by G. So the answer to this question is C, 280 over 9G.